Hey guys, it is Lake Monster Lures and we're back with another video. And in this one, you guessed it, it is Super Mario Brothers themed. Now, I was wondering while watching the new movie whether or not I could make a lure based off of Mario. Now these things right here, they're called Cheap Cheeps. Cheap Cheeps are the fish in the Super Mario world. And I thought, hey, that could make a good square bill crankbait. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to make a square bill cheap cheap and we're gonna see if it works. Now the ice is still melting, so I'm not really confident that I'm gonna catch a fish on it, but I am going to be able to test it out and see the action of it. Make sure that you are liking, commenting, and subscribing, and let's get into the build. I'm gonna take this hat off, it's ridiculous.
right, so Mario. He's a character created by a Japanese video game designer. I'm not going to be able to read that. He is the title character of the video game franchise of the same name and the mascot of the Japanese video game company Nintendo. And if you didn't know that, then you must have been living under a rock. Mario has appeared in over 200 video games since his creation. He's an Italian plumber residing in the fictional Mushroom Kingdom, whose adventures generally center on rescuing Princess Peach from the villain Bowser. Mario has access to a variety of power-ups that give him different abilities, and Mario's brother is Luigi. Now, some more interesting facts. Mario first appeared as the player character of Donkey Kong in 1981, a platform game. Miyamoto wanted to use Popeye as the protagonist, but he could not achieve the licensing rights, so he created Mario instead. Miyamoto expected the character to be unpopular and planned to use him for cameo appearances, and originally called him Mr. Video. He was renamed to Mario after Mario Sagali, a landlord who rented a warehouse to Nintendo during the beginning years. Sagali visited the warehouse to collect overdue rent and openly berated employees. According to a widely circulated story, developers subsequently then renamed the Donkey Kong player character to Mario, who was previously known as also Jumpman, which is kind of, isn't that like the name of Michael Jordan's shoes now, Jumpman? Pretty sure I have some Jumpman shoes. Mario eventually star uh, starred in his own spin-off game, Super Mario Bros., which came out in 1985. So, Cheap Cheeps. They're pufferfish, apparently. And they made their first appearance in Super Mario Bros. in the underwater levels. They are common, reoccurring enemies throughout the Mario franchise. They are found in all the water levels, first appearing in World 2, Stage 2, in Super Mario Bros. They can jump out of the water as well, like in Mario Super Sluggers. There are many different species of Cheap Cheeps, and they come in different colors including gray, green, light blue, magenta, blue, orange, yellow, black, purple, brown, and indigo. The most common, though, are red, with white patch on their stomach, a yellow, but originally white tail fin, and a yellow, mohawk-like dorsal fin with wings. They also have blue eyes and pink lips. Cheep Cheeps may attack above the surface of the water by jumping out an arc. Given this, Cheep Cheeps seem to be inspiring, are inspired by flying fish, hence the wing-like fins, which behave similarly. Most Cheep Cheeps appear to be affiliated with Bowser and the Koopa Troop, while some, such as the ones seen in Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, are not. In most of the games they are in, Cheep Cheeps pose a wide variety of attacks, typically regarding jumping behavior. In subsequent games, Cheap Cheeps take on many forms. Infant and giant versions of Cheap Cheeps, Baby Cheap and its parent Big Bertha, as well as predatory Boss Bass. Big Bertha and Boss Bass essentially act as enlarged versions of the green and red Cheap Cheeps. Respectively, despite both being red themselves, they are also spiny Cheap Cheeps, snow Cheap Cheeps, and many, many more. Anyway, those are the fun facts, and we're done with the painting. So let's get fishing. All right, so we are done with the build. This is the Cheap Cheap, and I was actually pretty surprised at how difficult this thing was to build. The wings were a difficulty, the lip placement uh, of the line tie, that was a difficulty, and no, it's not technically a square bill. It's more of almost like a deep diving crank the, with the way it looks. But I am really hoping that it functions well. So I'm going to put a treble hook on here and we are going to go and test this bad boy out. And also, I'm going to take the opportunity, now that it is sunny and there's open water, I'm going to test this one out as well. This is the Santa Claus Popper from the Christmas special. If you have not watched that video, please go and give it a, a, a look-see. Uh, fun facts about Santa. Not so fun if you're a kid. Check it out. All right, let's hit the water. So guys, the Super Mario Cheap Cheap Lure did not work out. It just kept blowing out on me and rolling over. So I am going to actually make some fixes to it. I'm gonna carve out the bill and make it a little bit longer. 
and when that is done I will upload a second part to that video and the popper the Santa Claus popper I did go ahead and fish that for a little bit so I want you to check out that footage right here so I did say that I was actually gonna try out the Santa Claus lure so the popper that I have so we're gonna give that a whirl real quick I think that it actually worked out really well. Unfortunately, it's still too early in the season for me to go bass fishing or pike fishing. So I just wanted to test out the action in the water. We'll have another part for that one. Maybe I can catch something on this in the future. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you on the next Lake Monster Lures.